all of this baby weight. It's uh -huh. got these love handles. Yeah. She's about to turn one years old. It's a little embarrassing. And my second reason is because of my profession and my body image. I'm an event planner. I plan these extraordinary, elegant, beautiful events. And then I come schlepping through the door. I just want to be nice and lean and fit and healthy. That I kind of go with everything else. I want you to be as elegant as your events. And that's yes, what this 28 day plan is about for everybody. So come over. Okay. So let's get to what you can actually, we're going to start with breakfast for 28 days. This program is going to teach you to automate your breakfast with MUFAs, monounsaturated fats. Okay. So I gave you an example with avocados. There are other ones you could use. But as an example, you could have avocado on toast. Notice there's no butter on there and all other stuff, but this I one, this. Yeah, this is an avocado egg mix that I love. You put the egg in the avocado and cook it in there. It's fantastic. And then the avocado smoothie. So pick one that you think you might actually have. And I want you to experiment throughout the month, but you're going to have to have one of these as your foundation. You know what? Let's go with the avocado and oh, egg. Enjoy it. Okay. Your, your one-year-old could probably share that with you soon. Probably. No, I like mine juicy like that, but... I see. I see. Thank you for helping me out with this. Give it a shot. And these are straightforward foods to make, and you're not going to break the bank either. Mm. And half avocado has got 10 grams, oh. 10 grams of the healthy fats, which is really what you want to get in your body early on. That's good. Now, I would have chosen this if I were you. And I'm going to give you a second to. chance. Why well, you think it's the whole thing? <laughs> I'll give it a shot. It's not looking very tasty. And no, it doesn't, but trust me on this right. one. Give that a little taste. This thing would change the world for a lot of people. And again, we'll put all these recipes on Oz.com, but these are so good. You can add a lot filling. of pineapple to it. And nutritious that you will want to come back to these for the rest of your life. Apples. Which like that. I told you. And your <laughs> one year old will spill that over the house with you. She's gonna be <laughs> jealous of you having that thing. Alright, lunch is all about a fruit fiber combo. I'll give you a couple examples. This is shredded uh, Brussels sprouts with a little mm -hmm. bit of, of apple salad. Raspberry okay. cabbage salad is another option. Oh, yeah, these yeah, are yeah. soluble and insoluble fiber. Taste whichever you desire. So I'm gonna take some both. Yeah, and I think you'll like there's a little sweet in there, which is unexpected. And the beautiful part about this as a doctor is you are actually tricking your digestive system. When you combine those different kinds of fibers, it speeds up the transit time. I'm being polite, right? So that food moves through your body, so you'll be running away from that one year old to go to the bathroom all day long, mm -hmm. which is good, right. because that means it's not stuck inside of you, messing up you. Mm. The first one's yeah. amazing. I think they're great. I had that today. And again, depending on your palate and the sweet, and we'll have lots mm. of other recipe options as well for whatever you wish. This is awesome. All right. They're both great. All right, so you think that's great. It's getting better. For 28 days, for 28 days, you're also going to want to pick a, a dinner that's got a lot of protein and also rich in these whole grains. Do you know much about the different whole grains out there? Not much. All right. So I asked him who's a world expert on this. He's a guy who knows a ton about a lot of things. Dr. Andy Waugh is going to explain whole grain carbs and why they're in this challenge. <laughs> You know, there's a huge difference between a whole grain oh, yeah, this is and awesome. flour. Uh, a, in a whole grain, the, the starch is enclosed in a tough bran, a tough husk. It's very difficult for digestive enzymes to penetrate that husk. So there's a slow, very, very slow conversion of that starch to sugar. Also, whole grain has a germ, an embryo, which has some fat in it and vitamin E, which slows stomach emptying. So every week you get a whole new uh, game plan, a whole grain carb to play with. And I got a bunch of them here. I got quinoa and buckwheat, barley, these soap and noodles are to die for, farro. These are old grains, guys. Our ancestors ate these. Millet's one of my favorites. You put a little bit of anything on there, it tastes fantastic. And you combine whatever a whole grain you're going to play with with three ounces else. of lean meat uh, or a half cup of beans. Now, I love beans because they're one of the cheapest foods you can get in the grocery store. That It has so many health benefits, including the fact that plant proteins are sometimes less intimidating than animal proteins and, got, and they have tons of protein in them. And you get unlimited amounts, as you know, of non-starchy vegetables to combine with these. Now, throughout the day, you can also have snacks because I know you don't want to ever be hungry. If, if my little stirpy uh, green, green drink doesn't work for you, the snacks will, you can get an ounce of nuts, a half, you know, a quarter cup of sunflower seeds, even nut butters. I love those two tablespoons. You can put them on a piece of whole grain bread and it'll work for you. But that's the basic food. But I'm gonna share something with you It's a big deal. For the 28 days, we're going to put you on a 12-hour fasting window. Let me explain what this means. When you take your last uh, bite of food at night, well, you are not going to eat again until the next day, 12 hours later. It's not that hard. You finish dinner by 8 p.m., you're not going to have breakfast till 8 a.m. Again, you finish at 9, start eating at 9 a.m. 
It's a very simple model. This time-restricted eating is getting a lot of popularity and scientific endorsement. In both animals and in human studies, they've been, we've had pretty good suggestions that this practice helps people maintain their weight because it lets your hormones reset. It lets your body relax for half the day to process whatever you put in there. And that's why so many people are losing so much weight with this approach. So what do you guys think so far? Yeah, it's straight up, it's simple, it's new stuff, and we're gonna keep layering all the time. We know this challenge won't work if you don't feel like you have the tools to succeed. So up next, brand new tools that you need to do just that to succeed. Stay with us. Yeah.